for our patrons. Thanks for being with us. Today's episode was with Lynn Lawson as my guest host, and we talked about empathy and a willingness to be changed and diversity and inclusivity, specifically in writers groups. I thought you made a really good point about it not being political because we're not talking about power. We're talking about sharing and we're talking about uh, making each other better writers. And I think that if we can bring that message into this um, dialogue around inclusivity, people shouldn't feel threatened as much as feel like they're being given an opportunity to grow and and be better, Um, which is why I I never understand why people reject these (laughs) kinds of efforts, but whatever. Um, But that's less interesting, I think, than the comics conversation, because as we were closing up, we were talking about your work on uh, the comics. And then you've got another, uh, some poetry chapbooks out as well that are on your website. So tell me about the most recent poetry chapbook. I think it's, oh, I ran by it, Chime. Yeah, that one's a full length uh, poetry book. And that came out in 2019. And um, it was my first full length uh, poetry collection. So uh, it was fun. Um, The sort of the banner poem of that one would be uh, Groundhog Day that I mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, and a cool story is that um, it features like this, tro- the movie trope of uh, a character like dying uh, over and over, kind of like the, the film Groundhog Day. Right. But uh, it's from a black man's perspective of uh, being killed by police. Um, fast forward now to where uh, the short film, uh, Two Distant Strangers, mm-hmm. one in, the Academy Award for a short film, and it followed that same trope. And I was like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> so, you know, might be entitled to a little something here, but um, no, I didn't go that route. But uh, it's it's a it's a movie trope, you know, being at, and I think there's a movie out right now that, that features that somebody being killed over and over and over. But um, to continue to see, you know, a black person die in different ways, but by the same hands is, uh, you know, something that we've really seen, you know, in real life, you know, yeah. it's like art imitating life. So, uh, but there are some other cool poems in there that I really like. Chime is available on Amazon. So I'll put a link here for our patrons so they can get to it. And uh, just keep in mind that if you just reach out to that filmmaker and say, hey, I've got this poem, kind of does the same thing. I wonder if your audience responds the way mine does. Because you mentioned on the air how grateful some of the people have have been about you telling that story and that being something that resonated with them and helped them sort of put a vocabulary to it, which is maybe what writing really can do is give us the vocabulary. Yeah, I kind of shrink when I think about reaching out to big name people and some crazy stuff. Yeah, don't worry. If they don't want to talk to you, they'll just ghost you. They'll yeah. ignore you. <laughs> All right. Being right. Thanks for everybody for being patrons. We appreciate you. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's show. We'll uh, see you next week.